Okay, I was mad confused. I seen this on um some other folks' channels. I saw it on YouTube for a little bit, but hey, you know what I'm saying? It's on Twitter, bro. It said YouTube did us dirty, so you know what I'm saying, bro? AMP debates debates the N-word. Okay. The black and white brush, and it's not that simple. Get her, get her out of here! If I did that, it's called Come on. Oh, 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 oh. The viewers express the views expressed in this video as are those of the spirit speakers and do not necessarily revoke the viewers the blah 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 okay discretion discretion of vibe basically discretion of vibe Alright Alright let's get it If you must choose between visiting your best friend as he is dying or your child being born, you should choose visiting your best friend. Ooh. Oh, yo, all right, let's get it, bro. That's tough. That's tough, bro, that's There's tough. two ways you can look at it. Depending on how many kids you have. If, what? If you have. <laughs> get his ass out of here. I believe the wife come first. That best friend can wait. He died. Yo, she got yeah. some. He died. I'm sorry. Forget the debate, bro. She got some breasts. I know, I know. Right, but back to the so, debate. The, so the best friend can't wait. Because that's it. He, he gonna die. He gonna die. But you also have one chance to see your child being born. So the wife and the baby come first. Nigga, I don't see that nigga tomorrow. Listen, 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 listen. They got videos now, pictures, all that. Like, all right, look. I met I met five amazing guys in my life, and if one of them in the ICU and they dying, I, I gotta go see them. I, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. I'm the rest. I got to. And my son, my daughter, I can see him on video, okay? <laughs> All right? But the next day, That's I'll crazy. be with my kids. Yeah, we're gonna leave my dad. For sure. Yeah, well, <laughs> Okay, so I mean, the main thing is I can tell you don't have children, correct? Nah, nah, not no, yet. No, not okay, yet. so like she said, it's only one time you get that event. Based on what type of best friend you got, where I'm from, Chicago, one of my partners could have got into something. I know he hot. You hear me? And if my wife, my beautiful wife over there giving birth to one of my kids, and you know I just told you, hey, shit, water just broke. I'm gonna be honest, I might not fuck with my son if I miss my man's dying. <laughs> <laughs> but you're, you're, young, <laughs> you're not gonna mess with your son <laughs> if he was born the same day your best friend died. Yo, honestly, that's tough, bro. That's a tough, that's tough. That's tough, bro. Cause I got, I got like two, I got a like handful. Bro, I got like three best friends, bro. If I like, 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 we've been best friends since like, since birth. You know what I'm saying, bro? Since birth, bro. And if they were passing away, bro, and I had a chance to say like, say my final, like, say like my final goodbyes to them, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I'm gonna have to go say my final goodbyes to them. You know what I'm saying, bro? I'm gonna have to go say my final goodbyes, bro. Cause like that, if I if I don't say goodbye, bro, that's that's gonna like it's gonna haunt me. It's gonna haunt me for the rest of my life, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You your 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 kid at the at, at, at you your your kid. The only person that's gonna remember you not being there at birth is the wife. You know what I'm saying, bro? And you should have a good enough relationship with your partner that they should understand. You know what I'm saying, bro? They should understand that you had to be there for your friend. You feel me, Roski? That's 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 my take on it. Ain't gonna lie, bro. Ain't gonna lie. You should have a good enough relationship with your, with your partner to understand that you, this this is your this is your man's. But pause. You feel me, bro? This is your this is your homie, man. This is damn near your brother. This is damn near your brother. Yo, so I can give you that perspective. Me <laughs> and then you're gonna be there for the and then you're gonna be there for the kid for the rest of the kid's life. You know what I'm saying? For the rest of the kid's life, yo, you're gonna be there, bro. But you just can't be there for the birth. <laughs> Like me. Hello. What's the stage? Hey guys. Well, I believe the wives come first. It's a lot of women dying of birth these days. So if you have the opportunity, I believe you should go see your child. Women dying of birth when this is an 18. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? I'm not gonna say women don't die from birth. You know what I'm saying, bro? I'm not gonna say that, broski, because I, I, I generally do not know, bro. But yo, this isn't the like back in the bubonic plague, bro, where where the birth rates, women's birth rate. To the women's survival rate through birth was like freaking two percent. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's high now. You know what I'm saying? It's high. 
This is this is this is crazy, bro. I see both sides, but I think we all looking at it from an aspect of absolute death. Or you could compromise, spend time with your wife until she has the child. No, 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 he's dead. Nah, he's dying. He's dying. There's no. He said nah, he's dying. The butts about this. My dog is dying. He's dead. Yeah, he's dying. That's what I'm saying. The doctors may bring him back to life. Nah, he's oh, dying. Oh, what is this? Like they, like they made the call, say he's about to get out of here. Like you want to come see him or what? Hey guys, listen, I'm speaking from a perspective of being married for 23 years. I have four, thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. Having four best I know friends it's not easy. for close to 50 years. Damn. My best friends and I will all agree that if it came down to it, to the birth of our child and their death, there's no way I'm turning my back on my wife, leaving her really? in that position, giving birth. I love these. I ain't got no kids, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't got no kids, but like, he's like, ah! guys to death. But when it comes to the birth of my, my 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 child, I wish you the best. I'll pray for you. I'll see you at the funeral. How would y'all feel if y'all oh, father said I didn't I, I didn't get to see y'all? He did that. Yeah, shit, man. He, did that. That he wasn't there. That he happened. wasn't there. That that wait, 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 wait. What if y'all father? What if y'all father said my pops ain't come through? <laughs> He need a hug. <laughs> <laughs> what if y'all father said I didn't get to see y'all, you know, get born, you know, born because my friend passed away? How would y'all make that feel? As a child, as an adult, you would say, oh, you know, you probably would say whatever. But as a child, you will always remember that your father was not there because you won't because know. He went to the you won't know unless you told. You know what I'm saying, bro? Unless the wife holds a grudge and tells the kid out of anger. You feel me? That's the only way the kid's gonna know, bro. Hey, no, 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 no. Get her out of here. Get her out of here. Get, get, get my twin out of here. Get my twin out of there. My twin. Now, what I'm saying is this for y'all. Get his ass. Get his ass. Wait, what do you say? Get something to look at. Get his ass. Get his ass. Your girlfriend should not attend your ex's her ex's funeral. I agree. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. What's going on, man? Big I back, feel big like back. She can go. Like he dead. What he ain't nothing he can do. She can't talk to him. They can't get back together. They, he, I'm just going going to show my respect. Like now, why you know she even know that nigga dead? <laughs> he dead. Dude, what the fuck they gotta do with me? He done. Okay, they, don't have to, they don't have to do with you. But you gonna close that chapter officially. It's big. It's big. Right, what are you talking about? No, unless your ex is your baby mom or baby father. Uh, then that's then that's like yeah. nah, I'm coming. I'm just going with her. And what, <laughs> you know, I mean, nah, I'm just see what she gonna say and shit. <laughs> you wanna hear the eulogy? Oh, that was a quick one, I ain't gonna lie. You should pay for your girl's BB. BBL. I'm famous. You don't need a BBL, bro. Do not pay for a BBL. No. I'm not okay. paying. I don't want to pay for my girl for the BBL. You cheap, bro. That's no, fun. I'm not being cheap. Because this is not the first time I done heard you say some shit like Okay. You know what I'm saying? Why are you altering your body? You feel me, what I'm saying? I got with you because I fuck the way you look. Then, you know what I'm saying? You want. To alter your body, why? Because I already fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? I already mess with you heavy. I like the way you look right now. So who are you trying to get validation from? Other who? Men. I'm going to pay for you to cheat on me? Nah, bro. Hell nah. That, no, that you're not paying for shit. It's my girlfriend, right? Yeah. Meaning that I fell in love with her for her. Okay. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. So look, hold on. Therefore, if she, if, she, if she comes to me, and say, babe, I want to, I want a BBL. I'm gonna say you don't need that. And 90, I ain't gonna lie, bro. 90% of the times, 99. Okay. When a girl get a BBL, it's to attract attention, bro. Okay. Let's be honest. Okay, but she's coming to you not for you to persuade her otherwise, like that she shouldn't get it. She's saying, babe, I want a BBL. I'm gonna say I don't want you to have a BBL. Bro, buy the BBL, bro. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. People get like, no, no, bro. To like boost their own personal self-esteem and shit, how they feel about themselves. So like veneers, 
BBL, yeah, all that shit is included because yeah, like yeah, veneers, veneers and shit like that. Okay. Yeah, but it's the same thing. Nah, though. Like, it's you not. Can get veneers because no, they don't like not, bro. Around. And and it's affecting their self esteem. It's like, bro. It's like white people get braces, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, I feel like braces, braces. You can't. Teeth is different, bro. Teeth, nails, teeth, nails, hair. You know what I'm saying? Even makeup, bro. Fine, down with that. You know what? I, you know, I, I could, I could deal with that, bro. But, bro, BBL. BBL again. I got with you because I like the way you look. I, I like the way you look, and I like the personality that, that came after that. You feel me, Roski? I. You know what I'm saying, bro? It seemed like it seemed like it's it's low key like a personal issue. <laughs> like if you don't like the way you look, it seemed more like a personal issue, bro. It looked like you might have to go do some deep meditation. <laughs> I don't know, do some prayers or something. A BBL and teeth is is different. Completely different, right? Agree. What are you doing? Oh, why are you... <laughs> Wait, hold on. If I'm here with your boyfriend, it is my job to make you feel beautiful as, as how you are. Jake, I ain't gonna lie. Nice. I have a big forehead. Me too. Right? Damn. Damn. Me too. Not me. I got Damn. a nice forehead. Look, 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 me too. Look, babe, I want to go to nice forehead. and I want to reduce my forehead. She may not, like, she gonna be like, Oh no, like I love you for your like I'm supposed and, to say yeah, that. Okay, bro. okay, look. Nah, but shit, she loves me. <laughs> when you get a BBL, not permanent. there's upkeep, right? right. Yeah. Yeah. So now she has to keep it up. This is ongoing right. expenses due to most likely, on average, an insecurity she's dealing with. Because I have an abnormally large forehead. No, yeah, yeah, which fair, means fair. that you know, for ah, for a long shit. time, like it was it's different than what most people have. With enough character growth, I learned to love that this is part of me. There's a forehead reduction surgery. I will not be getting this shit. Yeah, sure. Blacks are deep down uh, in all the poor neighborhoods. We grew up around Cubans since 1981. They live on a block just like us. They got mouth full of gold just like us. They talk like us. That's all they know. Me now, they might go Me to the states and city, and y'all not cool with that. They might get flipped. They might get killed. You say the Cubans grew up with y'all, right? They leave Miami and go go to the A. Somebody only I'm saying. fucking retarded, chat. Only black women should be able to say no word. What's that? I'm like, they might what get is, flipped. But I'm, I'm, but what I'm saying though, they gonna get flipped. So, but it, it's wrong now. I love the word. I feel like it's a derogatory way to use the word, and it's a culture way to use the word. So who can say it to them? In your friend group, and you chilling, and that's how y'all talk. It's, it's just a way of speaking. It's not like you're not coming at them. Like you're not saying that disrespectful. Like, that means you, anybody. If you're not saying you're, if you're not saying, if you're not saying, if you're, not saying you're, you're a nigga, like you're a nigga. Like if you're not saying it like that, then yeah, but but you're saying that means that you're saying anybody can say it then. No. Cause if I have my white friend CB, yeah, friend, CB, CB come and I'm like, yo, CB, CB, come here, man. CB, come here, CB, come here, CB, 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 come here. CB, my CB, friend, CB, chill with us every day. He chill with us every okay. single day. Can he say? And I'm like, CB, like, what's good, my nigga? He just coming, yo, what's up, my nigga? But that's how we talk. Yeah, that's not how we talk, talk because that's not how he talk. You said specifically uh, that yeah. you guys can talk it out loud. If it's not used in any certain way, then it's fine. Okay, for me. If I did that, like, there's consequences. But you hear what he said. He said, he said that's how. He said that's how we. Talk. But hold on. But you said that's how we talk. That's not how we talk. If he can't say it. Now this is like a politically correct answer. But technically, the only people who have a pass to say the word nigga is foundational Black Americans. We got to a point where anybody who's Black, you know, outsiders don't know who's foundational, who's from the islands, who's from Africa. So they group us. So we've all used it. Jokingly, I would agree with you, but I just, at the same time, I know like society's gonna view him as a black man. Like when he gets pulled over by the police, he's gonna be a nigga. He is just as black as us to America. And I'm saying that's how the word spread the way it spread. Yeah. Okay. And, and now it's a universal language amongst us all. First and foremost, the word nigga means a non-taxpaying citizen. At that point in time, post-slavery, that word was used. A non-tox paying citizen? Nah. See, I what I what I I thought I thought it meant like I always taught I was always told it meant less than. I got my research on that one, ain't gonna lie. Used towards African Americans. We were described as Negroes when we came off the slave ships because during the transatlantic slave trade through the Caribbean islands, the majority spoke Spanish. And because of that, Negro means what in Spanish? Black. Black. So they associated with black. The ignorant version of black means nigga because we were actually non-taxpaying citizens because we weren't considered human beings. So third, when that foundational okay. black shit, I see that. nigga, that's crazy. Because at the end of the day, we took that word and we made it, strangely enough, out of love. What y'all don't understand about Hispanic people and Spanish people, they just as black as us. 
Exactly. When you talk about foundational, Puerto Ricans, Brazilians have black ancestry. You don't understand. I'm gonna teach you right quick, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Now that when that that was not a up that was not in love, bro. That was it. That was in less than. How you gonna lie? Is, is that Yo. Brazilians have y'all don't understand y'all don't understand let culture. Me cook, let, me cook. let me cook. I am cooking. I'm cooking fucking Thanksgiving right now, nigga. You about to eat this shit, my nigga. Oh, oh. He said he's schooling people, people, but he not schooling people. He running around the block. What the block only am I people, around? Hey, the only hey, people. Hey, my brother, come take a seat real quick. Take a seat. Come on, bro. Go ahead. Take a seat. Y'all, 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 it was one group of people right, called right. niggas, on, and that's American so, slaves. Y'all. Niggas and the Indians, too. Native Americans. Was Americans you a slave? As well. Was you a slave? My ancestors was. How you know? What you mean? How I know? How you know? Do you know? Do you know your? Do you know I your do, lineage? Absolutely. We know you was a slave, my nigga. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, what I'm saying is this: that foundational Black American shit, that's some bullshit. At it's, the end of that, that's, that's my that personal means, belief. Though, that's what that means. That my means nigga, a group of you gonna people, be viewed as a nigga. That means you eat the Ethiopian, right? People, you eat the right? Right, right. One o'clock in the morning. All these niggas is my niggas, but I'm saying. You with me, my nigga? And I'm saying, who the started, started with who? With a group, a specific group of people that was already who was, who here. Who was the people, my nigga? The Native Americans. My nigga, they didn't call and, niggas and, niggas, and, my and nigga. The niggas that came with <laughs> bro, bro, oh my gosh, I'm actually dying, bro. What? <laughs> two group of people. No, it's called niggas. No, we make no niggers. Come on. Hey. Oh, this freaking one, bro. Nah, go back to the other one. I, I, that was that was mad. I think you guys lie. are trying to paint this with a black and white brush, and it's not that simple. Okay. I think it depends if you guys are both financially in the same place. My husband and I went through graduate school together. We were both poor, so we both were financially in the same place. Right. So we split rent, we split everything, even after we were married. From how I look at it, it's like, I'm the man, right? And I should be, you know, uh, taking care of my household 100%. However, I think that if in a scenario that I'm not able to, my partner should catch me on the way down if 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 I need that, because I know how life works. Your team. Shit. Your I know team. How life works That's what it's all about, bro. As a black woman who dates primarily black men, I think that we should start paying attention to how, not all, but a lot of black men don't make as much as a lot of black women. I'm one of the women that probably makes six figures compared to a lot of black men that I've dated. You single now? Huh? (laughs) (laughs) Yo, that was, he's, that was so quick, bro. (laughs) I don't know if he meant it like, like, like he trying to get at her. I don't know if you meant it like that, but it sounded like that. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Say, no, 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 go ahead, though. The thing is, I'm not opposed to dating someone who makes less than me, but the thing is, the men I've come across that have dated are intimidated by what I make, and it becomes an issue to where they feel intimidated. How'd that make you feel? Did that make you sad? Yeah, it made me sad. How did your ex partner make you feel like uh, it wasn't being appreciated? What was he doing? We're not going out or if we're not necessarily seeing each other constantly like we were, and it's a money issue, then yeah, you would bring it up. I'm not, I'm doing everything but rent, bro. A rent is, I do too. I think as a man, you should take care of your girl. You know what I'm saying? I think you should take her on, take her on nice dates. I agree. Take her on nice trips. If you can, pay for her nails. I understand everyone does. Can I ask you a question? Okay. Girl car just broke down. Fuck it. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, whatever you need. Hey, so wait, no, she get a new car. Fuck it. New car crazy. Fuck it. <laughs> new car is I'm crazy. Serious, hey. But it's like, hey, but, but, why, but why am I in a relationship with someone that I care about? And if I, I'm saying, if you got it, why not? Your girl up ten mil. Yeah, she better and go. You, ahead, you, you know what I'm saying? Up, but she, she likes you though. I think everyone's dynamic depends on each person. As a man, I know it's about pride and shit like that. But Phantom asked you about the new car. Yeah. You said fuck it. Yeah. Right. Flip it. You broke. And your girl trying to buy you a car. You would, saying, fuck it? I would want her to reciprocate that same energy because relationships are not just yes, transactions. It's I about agree. love at the end of the day. People, I agree. people aren't considering love. Yeah, Yo, he kind of took it in what love. stage of a relationship you're in. Relax. You, if you're just strictly dating, then you do what you do. You pay for dinner, things like that, basic transactions. But you don't pay her rent. You don't pay her car. No, she doesn't probably even live with you at that point. Right. Right. But I still believe that a woman should 
Now, I, bro, I, yo, yo, to me, why I went on, went on for, like, it was like second date, broski, and Big was talking about, talking about, uh, uh, um, getting her, getting those, okay, if we are just starting to yapping, you know what I'm saying, but we just starting talking, you know what I'm saying, we're in the talking state, we're not even dating, you know what I'm saying, bro, do not be asking me to buy you anything, you know what I'm saying, do not be asking me to pay for you anything, broski, if we've been dating for a little bit, you know what I'm saying, we've been dating for a little bit, now, now it's like okay, hold on now. I'm I, now now I'm obligated to buy you like stuff on your birthday, type shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm obligated to um, <clears throat> if something happens, I'm I'm, I'm obligated. To, I like I can pitch in and shit like that, bro. But first off, rip. I feel like some females be like off oh, rip. We wanted you to buy like everything, bro. Like I don't know you. I pay for dinner, done whatever, broski. But after that. I don't know you. <laughs> like, you know, I'm trying to get to know you. You trying to give me like you you, you put a bad taste in my mouth. I'm making making me try to have more to buy you stuff, bro. Partake. If you're young enough, you both are working. You're building for the greater good of your whole entire relationship. Your retirement, everything down the road. Your children, if they go to college <laughs> or not. Ain't nothing more awkward than when you start clapping and nobody else claps. That's what you're both are working for. Like if I am doing 100%, if I chose to do that, I think a woman should still have shit going on financially. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. You don't want them to be lazy. Yeah, yeah. Because if you're paying for everything, she should sign a prenup. Because if you're responsible for it all, then when, if you leave, you leave with it all. Time shit. Time shit. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure subscribe and leave a like yo w low video at l youtube for knocking it down i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to post a reaction on youtube i still can't believe i misread that the only that's it's literally the title of the video bro but i thought i i thought it was like a i don't know bro i don't know what i was thinking <laughs> but uh appreciate the reaction